Ian Davis, I'm a medical oncologist from Melbourne and I'm chair of ANZAP Cancer Trials Group. I'm here speaking with Associate Professor Michael Hoffman, who's a nuclear medicine physician from the, the Victorian Comprehensive Cancer Centre. Michael, we've had a pretty exciting week. This week, just yesterday, we launched a new clinical trial, a collaboration between ANZAP and the Prostate Cancer Foundation of Australia. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this trial? So this is the therapy trial and it's a trial using a new agent called lutetium PSMA, uh, which is a new form of uh, therapy for men with advanced castrate-resistant prostate cancer who have already failed some therapies, uh, such as first-line chemotherapy or some of the new uh, potent androgen drugs such as enzalutamide or abiraterone. Uh, and this is a randomised multicentre Australian trial which will compare this new treatment uh, with an already accepted uh, standard of care second-line chemotherapy called uh, carbazitaxel. Can you tell us a little bit about this lutetium PSMA? What is it and how does it work? Sure. So PSMA stands for prostate-specific membrane antigen. This is a small molecule that sits on the surface of prostate cancer cells and it's there in really high amounts and provides us with a unique uh, target for both uh, imaging and treatment. So we label a small molecule with a radioactive substance and the first thing we do is an advanced scan called a PET scan, standing for positron emission tomography. Uh, it's much like a CT scan, but areas of the body which have this PSMA light up very brightly. That allows us to see if you're potentially suitable for this therapy. And then if you are, we just change the type of radioactivity from an imaging one that travels outside of the body and is detected by the scanner to the lutetium. And the lutetium travels only one millimetre, but deposits large amounts of energy directly to the prostate cancer cells while sparing normal tissues in the body uh, that don't have the PSMA uh, on their cell surface. So you've had some prior experience with this, obviously you know something about its safety and, and uh, some previous clinical results? Correct, so uh, the treatment was pioneered uh, by the Heidelberg group in Germany but we've been using it at Peter Mac uh, since 2005 where we started a small uh, first in human trial uh, in 30 patients and these were patients that had really failed all forms of uh, known conventional therapies uh, and some of these patients uh, have had very good responses to this therapy and that has led on uh, to this uh, new uh, ANZUP initiative and Prostate Cancer Foundation of Australia initiative to run a larger uh, multi-centre clinical trial against an accepted standard of care to see how it really compares against what we're doing now. Mm. And we're very fortunate to have support from ANSTO, the Australian producer of lutetium, and ABX who produced the, the tracer that this molecule binds to. So on this clinical trial, men will be randomised to one or the other. What does that mean? And if you're a man who gets randomised to the standard treatment, what could that should that person be feeling disadvantaged? What do you think about that? Sure. So I guess the carbazitaxel is an accepted standard of care and there's already very high level evidence that that form of therapy prolongs uh, life and also improves uh, quality of life. So at the time you're randomised into this trial, I think if men can be reassured that they will be uh, at least receiving what is the best known therapy potentially for that person at that point in time. Uh, the newer therapy... Uh, everyone likes to get the new therapy, but we don't know if it's better than the yeah. uh, current accepted of care. So there is uh, some risk there. The way the therapy is administered and the side effects are really quite different since one's a chemotherapy type drug and one is a radioactive, more targeted molecule. Uh, so they're not directly comparable in that way. Uh, but the trial is designed to answer the question of which are better. But we know that the standard of care uh, prolongs life. Mm. And when can we expect the trial to be open? Uh, the trial is currently in a very advanced stage and we expect it to be open in the second half of 2017 and it will uh, run at multiple centres uh, around Australia so we hope that it'll be available in each uh, state and uh, it will enrol up to 200 uh, patients. Great. Okay well thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.